Hello everyone, welcome to Melda242. If you're here for the first time, I am Rimelda. You are welcome and God bless you. Today I'm doing it. I'm making pancakes with strawberry topping. Better than takeout. If you want to see how I achieve this then, I suggest you continue watching. Let's do it. I'm doing this with buttermilk pancake mix and I'm changing it up a bit. I'm adding evaporated milk and the butter along with the egg. The syrup will be light caro syrup. Light, not sweet, and the strawberries. Let's do it. Okay, I'm eyeballing everything here. This is about two cups of this Hungry Jack buttermilk pancake mix. Okay, and I'm just going to reseal this bag back so that it will stay fresh. I will leave the link for this little gadget here in the description box below, so check it out. Okay, that's good. Now the mixing begins. So I'm just giving this a little shift in case if there is any lumps, you can get rid of them. Next is the egg. Then the evaporated milk. Okay, you can use evaporated milk or whole milk. I want it to be rich. So I'm using about two cups of this evaporated milk. Next is the butter. This is salted butter. I'm using about two tablespoons of this. I'm just gonna allow it to melt in the microwave before adding it to the butter. Okay, the butter is ready. It's soft and melted. So I'm just going to add this in and give it a good mixing until everything is smooth, just like me. How does that sound? Just like that, good mixing. Now make sure your batter is not runny. It should still be able to pour, but not, you know, runny. You don't want it loose. So make it somewhat thick. So I'm trans going to transfer it to this measuring cup so that I can, it will be able to pour out easily with the spout. Okay, it's ready. I've used all, just like that. So this is gonna rest for about 30 seconds before frying it. Now I'm just adding a little oil to the pan with my fancy spray bottle. See that, that's thick. Spread it out somewhat. These are gonna be nice and fluffy. Now while that is cooking on medium, low, work on the topping. These are four large strawberries. So I'm just cutting off the top and I'm going to make some thin slices before cooking them down. Now I guess you can use the frozen strawberries but you're going to have to let them cook a while because of the liquid in them. So I'm using this pot so I can pour it out too. This is my Curtis Stone. That's Caro light syrup. A little bit of vanilla. Okay. Now the strawberries. Okay. This can also be made with sugar. I don't want them so so sweet so I'm just using the light syrup look at that it's rolling now okay this one is time to flip to the okay look at that that's golden just like me all right the 
these are coming on nicely let's make another one see how thick that is make sure yours is just like that allow it to form up some once you allow it to rest then you will have nice pancakes now this is what I do I add a little butter right after taking it out of the frying pan stack them up before adding the topping you don't want anything better than this this is better than I want them pancakes okay you know those people I want right look at that oh my word and you know what's in it it's not too sweet and it's not too sour this is just right let's give it a taste test family and friends I want to know that I'm still doing it I am still bringing the restaurant home God bless you thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end if you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up share it out leave a comment Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. God bless you. God bless you. And I will see you. I'll see you in the next one.